Hey guys, Harley. Gonna show you just a quick setup on how to make an ESC powered servo winch. Be using a Fataba S9157 servo, a Mamba 25 with updated software to run brushed motors, similar to the Castle Sidewinder Micro now, a Fataba 4PK, and a Fataba 4 channel receiver, as long with a, a 3 cell LiPo. Anyway, basically what I've done here is cracked open the bottom of this servo and tore, tore the control board out of it. Uh, that's your potentiometer on the bottom there. It tells the servo whether it's uh, centered or not. And then those little two leads there, you just desolder from the motor and this whole thing will pull out. Also, you need to get into the servo, take this top gear out, and just pull the little brass pin out of it. It's a really simple thing. You it's not as hard as it sounds. If that doesn't work for you, you can just cut it off with a, a cutting wheel. Don't overthink it. It's not a big deal. Anyway, so basically once you've taken and soldered on the positive and negative leads from your ESC onto the motor in your servo, you basically just created a uh, gear reduction unit here with, you know, with the motor on it. So it's no longer got any brains to it like the, like the servo once did. So all you do then is you control that from your from your radio just like a, anything on your third channel the nice thing about using a servo is proportional control not all of the uh, cheaper winches you'll see out there will do that or even the uh, cheaper winch control units so what I've done on my 4PK here is programmed my third channel to have two steps each direction I programmed it on my DT1 here so you can see it has two steps each way so now, right now I've got the ESC off. I will probably leave the switch on this just so I can turn it off and not have to worry about my winch line starting to slowly creep and then snap my uh, hook off or something like that. It's pretty common with some controllers and, uh, and some of the, the simpler mods to a servo. So just a little bit of extra safety, which is kind of nice to have. So I'll go ahead and turn this on. Normal castle startup tones. Then what you'll be able to hear as I click through the speeds on my e on my radio here is you'll be able to hear this motor kind of hit like a, a half speed and a full speed each direction. So you uh, a lot of that noise and vibrations just coming because we're on this metal workbench, so it's not necessarily as loud as it sounds. Although I am using a 3S LiPo, so that is a lot more power than this motor would normally get. So be conscious that you know you your this servo winch may not last you a, a real long time if you're really smoking on that motor so be mindful of that maybe turn your endpoints down if you if you only go to 50 percent it's only going to send half of that voltage so you can control it that way don't don't uh don't think that you can't limit your voltage out but just because you're using a a 3s battery so this is just a super simple setup. I'll, uh, I'll run you through the programming on the 4PK. I'm going to go into display mode so that my controller isn't, my winch doesn't start going. Uh, basically, go into your menus, menu 2, go to dial, DT1, channel 3, and I've got this set at 50%. Like I said, it goes 50% and then 100%. So it adds 50 each time. You could turn those steps down to like 20, so you would have five steps in each direction, five forward speeds, five reverse speeds. I think it's probably a little overkill and you're also going to have to have a little bit harder time stopping it. So I think 50 is fine. You may not even need two speeds, but like I said, you can also control your voltage with that. So simple setup, just a quick little overview. Thought I'd show you guys how, uh, how it was all going in there. I need to get this in my truck for the Axial Northwest Scale Comp coming up here this weekend. So hopefully it works well and We'll see how it does on course. See you guys later.